What's up, money lizards? Iggy the Investing Iguana here with another Money Savvy video. Have you ever wondered what your financial parachute is? You know, that safety net that catches you when life throws unexpected expenses your way? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal the secret to building a rock-solid emergency fund that'll keep you from free-falling into debt. Get ready to learn how to prepare for the unexpected and achieve true financial peace of mind. This is a must-watch for anyone who wants to take control of their finances and never panic when curveballs come your way. Let's dive in. What is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is a sum of money set aside to cover unexpected expenses or financial emergencies. It acts as a safety net, providing a financial cushion to fall back on when faced with unforeseen circumstances that may strain your regular income or savings. Imagine your car breaks down unexpectedly or you face a medical emergency requiring costly treatment. Without an emergency fund, such situations could potentially derail your financial stability, forcing you to rely on credit cards or loans, which can lead to further debt. However, with an emergency fund in place, you have a readily available source of funds to tackle these unexpected costs without disrupting your regular financial obligations or dipping into long-term investments. Financial experts generally recommend setting aside enough money to cover three to six months' worth of living expenses in an emergency fund. This amount can vary based on individual circumstances such as job stability, income sources, and financial responsibilities. The emergency fund should be kept in a readily accessible account, such as a high-yield savings account or a money market fund, allowing you to access the funds quickly when needed. Building an emergency fund requires discipline and consistent saving. Even setting aside small amounts regularly can help accumulate a substantial emergency fund over time. It's a proactive measure that provides peace of mind, knowing you have a financial safety net to weather life's unexpected storms without compromising your long-term financial goals or resorting to high-interest debt. Why is it important? Having an emergency fund is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it provides a financial safety net during unexpected life events, such as job loss, medical emergencies, or significant home or car repairs. Without an emergency fund, these situations could potentially lead to financial distress, forcing individuals to rely on high-interest credit cards, personal loans, or withdrawing from retirement accounts prematurely, which can have long-term consequences. Moreover, an emergency fund offers peace of mind and reduces stress during challenging times. Knowing that you have a financial cushion can alleviate the anxiety and worry that often accompany unexpected expenses. This sense of security can help you make more rational decisions and avoid impulsive financial choices driven by panic or desperation. Additionally, having an emergency fund can protect your long-term financial goals and investments. When faced with an emergency, you won't have to dip into your retirement savings or other long-term investments, which could potentially derail your progress and incur penalties or taxes. By maintaining an emergency fund, you can preserve the growth of your investments and stay on track with your financial plans. Furthermore, an emergency fund can help you avoid taking on additional debt, which can be a significant burden and lead to a cycle of interest payments and financial strain. With a readily available emergency fund, you can cover unexpected expenses without relying on credit cards or loans, ultimately saving you money in the long run. Building your emergency fund Building your emergency fund requires patience, discipline, and a consistent approach. While the idea of setting aside a substantial sum of money may seem daunting, the key is to start small and make it a habit. Even modest contributions can accumulate over time and provide you with a financial safety net. One effective strategy is to treat your emergency fund savings like a recurring bill or expense. Determine an amount you can comfortably set aside each month, whether it's $50, $100, or more and automate the process by setting up a recurring transfer from your checking account to a dedicated savings account. This way, the money is automatically moved before you have a chance to spend it, making it easier to prioritize your emergency fund. Another approach is to allocate a portion of any windfalls, such as tax refunds, bonuses, or monetary gifts, directly into your emergency fund. These lump sums can provide a significant boost to your savings, accelerating the process of reaching your target amount. It's also important to be mindful of your spending habits and identify areas where you can cut back on discretionary expenses. Perhaps you can reduce your dining out budget, cancel unnecessary subscriptions, or find ways to lower your utility bills. Any savings you can generate from these adjustments can be redirected towards your emergency fund. 
As your emergency fund grows, consider exploring high-yield savings accounts or money market funds to earn a higher interest rate on your savings. While the returns may be modest, they can help your emergency fund grow faster over time. Common Mistakes When Building Emergency Fund Here are some of the common mistakes people make when building an emergency fund. Not saving enough. One of the biggest mistakes is not saving enough money in the emergency fund. Many financial experts recommend having three to six months worth of living expenses saved, but this may not be sufficient depending on your individual circumstances. Those with less stable employment or higher financial obligations may need six to 12 months expenses or more. Underestimating expenses. When calculating how much to save, it's important to accurately estimate your true living expenses. Many people underestimate costs like food, utilities, insurance premiums, and other irregular but necessary expenses. This can leave you underprepared if you need to use the emergency fund. Investing in risky assets. The money in your emergency fund should be kept liquid and easily accessible. Investing it in risky assets like stocks exposes it to potential losses right when you may need to use it. Stick to savings accounts, money market funds, or other conservative investments. Using it for non-emergencies. An emergency fund is meant for true emergencies only job loss, medical bills, home repairs, etc. Using it for discretionary spending like vacations or shopping defeats the purpose. Have a separate savings account for non-essentials. Not adjusting for life changes. Your emergency fund needs can change over time as your income, expenses, and family situation evolve. Failing to periodically reevaluate and adjust your savings target can leave you over or underprepared, not rebuilding after use. If you need to dip into your emergency savings, it's critical to focus on rebuilding it back to your target level as soon as possible. Leaving it depleted leaves you vulnerable to the next emergency. Where to keep your emergency fund? When it comes to keeping your emergency fund in Singapore, you'll want to prioritize accessibility and liquidity while still earning a decent return on your savings. Two popular options are high-interest savings accounts and money market funds that high-interest savings accounts offered by banks like OCBC, UOB, and DBS allow you to earn higher interest rates compared to regular savings accounts. These accounts typically require you to meet certain criteria, such as crediting your salary, making minimum spends on credit cards, or paying bills. While the interest rates can be attractive, ranging from 1% to over 7% per annum, the catch is that you need to fulfill multiple conditions consistently to enjoy the highest rates. Nonetheless, these accounts provide easy access to your funds whenever needed. On the other hand, money market funds are investment vehicles that pool money from investors to purchase short-term, low-risk debt securities like treasury bills and commercial paper. Funds like the Fullerton SGD Cash Fund, United SGD Money Market Fund, and Lion Global SGD Money Market Fund aim to offer returns slightly higher than regular savings accounts while maintaining liquidity. These funds are managed by professional fund managers and can be a convenient option for those seeking a hands-off approach to managing their emergency funds. Both high-interest savings accounts and money market funds offer easy access to your funds, making them suitable for emergency savings. However, money market funds may provide slightly higher returns but come with some investment risk, albeit minimal. It's essential to consider your personal preferences, risk tolerance, and the effort required to maintain the highest interest rates when choosing between these options. Ultimately, the key is to strike a balance between accessibility, returns, and convenience. Whether you opt for a high interest savings account or a money market fund, the most important factor is consistently contributing to your emergency fund and ensuring it remains readily available when unexpected expenses arise. There you have it, money lizards. Now you know the importance of having a financial parachute and how to build a solid emergency fund. Remember, even setting aside a few bucks each week can add up over time, and having that safety net can be a real lifesaver when unexpected expenses pop up. If you found this video helpful, do me a solid and smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join the Investing Iguana fam. That way, you'll never miss out on my latest money savvy tips and tricks. As always, I'm here to guide you on your journey to financial freedom. So, keep those questions coming in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.